I'm gonna teach you an easy and fast way to make short form content for YouTube, TikTok, even Instagram if you want using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. There's many different ways to edit and different programs you can use, but I found this to be the simplest and free way to edit with no watermarks and good quality. First thing you're gonna do is drop in the video you want to use. This is geared towards Twitch streamers, so download the Twitch clip you want and drag and drop the clip in. When you drop the clip in, a prompt will pop up asking you to change the project frame rate, select change. Now right click the clip and select create new timeline using selected clips. Since we are making this specifically for short form content, we want it to be in the vertical style. So uncheck use project settings, go to format and change it from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. Now head over to the edit tab, which is the third from the left at the bottom. Because I like to show both myself and the gameplay on the content I create at the same time, you're going to want to drag the clip in to duplicate it. We don't need two of the exact same audio, so right click audio 2 and uncheck link clips, then backspace to delete it. You can delete this audio track if you want, I like to keep it in case I do any voiceovers. I use the top video track for my webcam, so what you're going to do is select it, then adjust the zoom in position however it works best for you. I know roughly the setting I use, so it's fairly quick for me. Now select the bottom video track and adjust your gameplay portion. From here you can crop however you want to make one part more of the focus than the other, however one small thing I like to do is take down the softness a touch. This isn't required, I just like the way it looks. Now this clip was about 30 seconds long and I only want a small portion of it. So what I'm going to do is find the part of the clip I want and delete everything before and after it. Simply find the sections you want to delete, mark them with the control backslash and then use the delete key to remove. Now comes the subtitles. I'm sure there's far better looking subtitles you can add, but I found one that works well enough for me, so that's what I use. Feel free to explore and find one that works for you. Head over to Toolbox on the left hand side, select Titles, and pick one. I use Scale Up. Once you find one you want, simply drag and drop it into a new video track. I then adjust the title settings to look how I want. For me, I adjust the size to 0.1, tracking to 1, and the animation delay between each character to 0. You can also adjust things like color, font style, and so on, so play around as much as you can and experiment. After that, I find the spot that I want the subtitles to be, and then just edit them to match what I'm saying. Copy, paste, and repeat the process until everything is subtitled. Now, you can save if you want. I'm an absolute chad, so I normally don't save. I just risk it all and cry if there's any error that forces me to restart the entire process from scratch. Head over to the delivery tab at the bottom right. There's a lot of settings here, but we'll only touch a few for now. First, switch the format to MP4, then scroll down and under the subtitle settings, select export subtitles, and then burn into video. This makes it so that when you export the video, the subtitles actually show up on the video. Go back up to the top, name your file, and pick a place to download it to. On the bottom left hand side, hit add to render queue. Finally hit render all, but please save before this just in case. I've had DaVinci Resolve freeze up here and while I find it funny, you probably won't, so be better safe than sorry. Once it's done rendering, you're done. You have your video. I like to watch it back just to see if I messed up or any further editing is required. I have a joke not safe for stream, I'll send you it on Discord. Oh my god, if anyone ever has these jokes, please send them to me. I have no filter and everything is funny to me. This isn't fancy and I hope you find even better ways to edit your videos, but this will give you a nice starting point for your content creation.